eye. So, <laughs> so Spuddy's gonna go in there. He's the owner of Vibe, so you can see. <laughs> hey everybody, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Then you here. No the host today she's right <laughs> oh <laughs> so i think i got cut off okay i'm back um so even the landscaping at the outside of vibes and you'll see patrons just coming on in right now so with that i'm gonna take it over rohanda is gonna cover and again i'm also wearing my task t-shirt agents are you wearing your task t-shirt today so whoop whoop kelly come on wear your task t-shirt okay kelly has hers <laughs> All right, perfect. So I'm going to hand you over to Rohanda. And Rohanda, it's all yours for the time being. All right, hi, everybody. Did you hear me? All right, hi, everybody, and thank you for joining us in Sweet St. Kids. We are extremely excited to be here and for TAS for inviting us. We're even more excited to welcome everybody and show off the new, cleaner, safer, and healthier way we do things here in St. Kids. And even more so excited to show off the island's most famous and, dare I say, world-renowned Vibes Beach Bar. And as Natalie already showed you, the vibe is already coming up. We, so we're gonna show off how we do things behind the scenes here at Vibes today. So we, I must admit, I'm no stranger to Vibes. It's where I spent most of my Friday evening. Um, and I think that's what most of the locals would say. As Natalie mentioned, after work, everyone joins in and we get to see, we get to mingle and lime, as we like to say, because vibes full up of vibes. Like, it's always enough vibes here. And so today, what we're going to do is show you a little bit behind the scenes of how the magic happens at Vibes. I mean, 2020 has forced us to change the way we do things. I'm still excited to be here in the industry. Everyone has been showing so much resilience. If you look around, you'll see all of the staff members with their masks. Everyone's being sanitized as they come in. So everything has completely updated to match what's happening in the world. So St. Kitts has not been left behind. And most certainly, Vibes definitely has not been left behind. And today, I want to invite you guys to, so we're going to see some demonstrations, some drink demonstrations, and I want to challenge you, you know, get the recipes, learn to make them yourselves, learn to make the drinks yourself. We have Marlon, the mixologist, and Marlon, he's awesome. He, I'm, I have to be embarrassed to say about, to talk about some of the interactions that I've had with Marlon. And then we're going to have the chef to show off a demonstration. Stati Rose, who's also um, very popular on the island. I know Vibes, we say Vibes is a bar, but Vibes has everything. When you check out Vibes' website, you're going to see sun, fun, and rum. But they forgot to mention the food, and Stati is going to really show you guys how they show off here in the kitchen. Uh, but we're going to start off. We're going to start off with the virtual tour. So, and then we're going to have some introduction of the staff with the owner, Spuddy Troy Hendrickson. All right, good afternoon, everybody. How are you doing? Uh, special thanks to the organizers for putting this event together. We are here, we are quiet, as you can see, all around us. Um, you know, it's really good spot to come and hang out here on the island. 
Here we have patients, He's one of our waiters. Patients, say hi to the folks. Right here. We have Camille, our supervisor. Say hi, Camille. Hi. We have Shana right here as well. Our Indian princess, she's wonderful. <laughs> we have some patrons who are here already. And these are really, really good people. This is my son, this is Kai. Say hi, Kai. <laughs> this is Camila, my significant other. And some of our friends, Carla. And this is Pet right here. And guess what? They are from Social Security, so be in a good mood, okay? Our DJ, Selector Yuval, right up front. Yeah, yeah, all in good. So Vibes is all about Vibes. I mean, you know, it's a wonderful spot. If you're ever on the island of St. Kitts on a Friday, Saturday or Sunday, it's a good place to come. As you can see, we have our tower. We've taken down the big screen, as you could see, but usually when we're doing like an NBA game, that type of thing, you can come and you can see all of that. I'm going to take you out to the beach. You can see, of course, the pride of St. Kitts Nevis, our national flags, which are right here. Of course, you can see the jet skis. Uh, we have eight jet skis uh, here at Vibes, and you can really, really come on out and enjoy the island and in, in its fullest and truest color and flavor. Our restrooms are here, and we have our beanbag toss, as you can see right back here. You can just kind of toss the bags to and fro and enjoy. We are 10 minutes away from the capital city, Bastia, so a lot of cruise ship patrons could just take a taxi, get on over, or if you're in Frigate Bay, you can easily walk from Frigate Bay, any one of the hotels, the Royal St. Kitts, the Marriott, Frigate Bay Beach, Timothy Beach, and you can easily get over to a sea. As you can see, the sun is just going down now. You can see out to the sun here where it's now just going down. It's beautiful, just one guy here. Today we are graced by some saga, some seaweed, but that's not going to stop the show. It won't stop the party. It's a wonderful, wonderful place to be. Here we have uh, one of my other staff. This is Steve. Steve, say hello. This is Steve. Steve's the hardest working man right here as well. Steve does a wonderful job for us. We have Marlon. Marlon is our mixologist, and he's going to be really throwing it down big for you today to really, really enjoy. So if you have a cocktail in mind, Tell Marlon we can make it happen, but his cocktails today are all going to be themed around the sunset and what St. Kitts is all about. You can see our televisions up top, so you can really, really come on down, relax, and enjoy as well. So for those of you who have not yet been to St. Kitts, it is the place to be. Here's Daryl. Daryl is one of the budding photographers here on the island. Say hi, Daryl. As well, Modern Elegance Photography. If you're ever doing a wedding, this is the guy that can make it happen. And this lady can do all the flowers for you as well and put everything together, dreamy decor. So we have it all. St. Kitts is a small island. We are 68 square miles all the way around. We are 23 miles long, seven miles wide. We are half of a twin island federation, which is St. Kitts and Nevis. Seven to 10,000 people on the sister island of Nevis. We're divided by just a mile and a half. So you can get sort of a two for one vacation once you're here on the islands in the sense that if you rented a car on St. Kitts, you can go across the Nevis and get a car complimentary. So it, 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 it is wonderful. It is wonderful. Yes, COVID has set us back a little bit, but we've learned a lot. We've learned a lot in terms of how we can work better with our Caribbean partners, how we can work better within, within each and every one of the islands. Lots of our taxi drivers have converted themselves into semi-farmers, they're making it work, they're pushing, they're pulling, they're really, really trying to, you know, make it wonderful once they, once, I mean, once everything reopens. So here's a sense, I'm gonna walk out into the road so you can see up the road in terms of what the Frigate Bay Strip looks like. The strip is about a quarter of a mile long and I'm gonna turn down, you can see what down the strip, that's my buddy Kenwick right there. Uh, who is also one of the other bars. There are 15 bars on the Frigate Bay Strip. Uh, again, we are here at Vibes, as you can see. Nice, vibrant colors. This is our pink shop, and the name indicates the pink shop, which is our gift shop. As you can see, we are right next to Ocean's Beach Bar, which is right next door. You can see the vehicles just driving through. And we have the great, uh, well, sorry, the small salt pond right here on the other side. 
So it's wonderful. So if you've never been here, you need to get here. St. Kitts is definitely one of the places you want to get to on any vacation in the Caribbean once we reopen. Uh, our powers that we are saying we're going to open in October. We don't quite yet know the date, but we are ready. We're ready to welcome, uh, you know, COVID-free people so we can really, really enjoy the island. I'll hand you back over to Natalie or Rohanda for now, and I'll be back with you in a little bit. Awesome, Spuddy. Awesome. Thank you. So I saw in the chat Michael saying he wish he was there. Michael, don't worry. Uh, I know once the borders open, you will be joining me here. We will be back at Vibes, and we will certainly be having that sunset cocktail, and then we'll be making Kelly jealous, okay? No, 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 no. I'll be right there. I'll be, I'll be first class with Michael. <laughs> no, but really, guys, um, Vibes, and because, again, think it as funny was saying, think it is really 68 square miles it's a small island but even in that small space it's really big it's huge and i remember kelly myself and um kelly for tackling travel what's her name again nicole nicole, nicole. we we had this big argument about small island big island but trust me guys even if we 68 square miles you don't see people we that big, right? So Dara, who is um, one of our preferred photographers at Dreamy Weddings, um, this is Dara. So you'll find Dara here on an afternoon, just coming and just doing his thing, just coming and have our local bear, which is Carib. That's our bear. So if you're in St. Kitts, you know, you must then post your task T-shirt with your Carib bear. So you can actually send that to Kelly, tag us a task and say, you know, wish you were here and thank it. <laughs> so yes, so we'll be moving along and um, Rohanda will be showing us one of the drinks that you could get here at Vibes. And um, one of the things I must say, so for those guys, uh, when you book the trips and the guys don't want to travel because it's sports time. Vibes is also the place to be because there are so many television screens at Vibes and um, Troy is always making sure that the games are being played so you, you don't have to miss out. Whether it's NFL, it's basketball, it's tennis, it's baseball, it's hockey, whatever it is, there are multiple TV screens at, um, at Vibes. So for me as a i'm a guy when it comes to sports so basketball i'm moving for the lakers any laker fans here okay with lebron we're gonna win it so i'm now gonna pass you on to <laughs> to rohanda who's ready with drinks go on all right, so like we said before, Vibes is for fun, Vibes is for sun, and Vibes is for rum. And we have sun, rum, and fun. We, there's food also, but we're going to get to that part later. Right now, we are going to focus on the rum. And we have a mixologist here setting up with us. So let's just say hi to Marlon. Hey, I'm Marlon. So we have Marlon and Shanna as we have been introduced and I'm just gonna let them tell you what they're doing. Marlon is making, Marlon tell us what you're making. So today we're going to start with a spicy cucumber margarita. Spicy cucumber margarita. Mm -hmm. We have already have my pepper and my cucumber in there with some lime juice to get muddled. So we're going to start. Extract the cucumber juice. Okay, oh, yeah, so he's making this so spice and water. I don't know, cucumbers are really refreshing. Yeah. So everybody knows the heat that we have in the islands. So we're not neglecting you. Um, Marlon has thought about you. So we're going to add a shot of Jose Cuevo. All right. It's not a vacation if there's no tequila included. Yeah, I'm one of those girls. I'm a tequila girl. Let's. Triple sec and it's, uh, More rum, triple sec, tequila. What else do we have there? Okay, so we're making things a little bit light, light and sweet. Tequila, syrup, 
trickle triple sex. We're going to remove glasses, sir. You're going to rim or a glass to start. Okay. First, I'm using the line to get it wet. Okay, so we're learning some techniques here. He's rimming his glass with salt. Like, guys, so I must say, I'm going to be the one who gets to taste test this. Like, I, I, I'm so sorry, but I'll let you guys know what it's like. I'm already topping my tongue. I'm excited. Um, but bye, just okay. bye, like I said. Okay, Rohanda, we, we get the message. <laughs> vibes is for vibes, and that's what we're doing right now. We're building a vibe. Where is Natalie's hand? Where is your cocktail, Natalie? Beg your pardon, Kelly? What are you asking? Oh no, my cocktail is being made, Kelly. I mean, come on. My, I'm, I'm going to be the first to taste the what's going on. Not Rohanda. Rohanda is only telling you about it, but I'm going to compete with Rohanda. I'm going to get the first drink. And remember to Kelly, I can't drink. You don't want me drunk. You don't want me on the table. <laughs> So we're having a drink off this afternoon. <laughs> it's the kind of thing to do on this after a long work day. Do, do you want me on the tables, Rohanda? Oh, no. <laughs> oh gosh. We're, I don't mind. I don't mind. Girls just want to have fun. Just remember to have fun before you start oh downing the drinks, okay? I'm I'm kind of nervous. Okay, I'm so you know I'm, I'm I'm walking across to Rohanda now to get that drink. Okay, ladies and gents watching, but I'm gonna have it outside on the table with my feet up to just show you what it is your client should do when they get to vibes. We we, we are getting the picture, Natalie. You know you know you don't have to this, you don't have to drive it in so hard. No no Kelly you know no Kelly it's the experience. So we, we have to be able to we we have to be able to make the travel advisors really feel it. Get into the thing kit. Oh my God look at this the sun is starting to set and um I'm coming back to the drink now and I don't drink my drink. Not at all. Not at all. I'm scared. I'm nervous. It's so this lovely. I'm beautiful. Sure, he's mad enough um, to make a second drink. You think it's tourism? You need to follow them. This is amazing. But I'm coming back with my drink. One second. Remember, you have to grace for the Instagram before you down that drink. So please, please. I'm here, I'm ready, I'm waiting. I mean, it looks so good, it looks so refreshing. The spicy cucumber. Natalie, be honest. Yes, I will, but I want to, I want to have it out there. Okay. On a green table to match the cucumber. Really? You're gonna go that far? Yeah, on a green table, I need to relax. Okay. Woo, this is, ooh, woo. So this is the green table, people. Let me make you see. This is the green table. Oh, I'm having a seat. Rohanda, are you are you um videotaping me? Come, Daryl, come have the carib on the other side. So Rohanda, I just got a special. I'm coming to join you, but I just got a special offer, and that's how we do things at Vibe. I'm getting another. Oh, one. I have one. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to um, I'm gonna have mine. Woo. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Nice, spicy. One of those drinks that you could be drinking like water, and very soon I'll be on the floor. <laughs> Natalie. <laughs> When you see the drinks are that good, um, you know, especially in the Caribbean, when the drinks are that good, guys, don't trust it. Don't trust that bartender because it means you're going to be drunk. And if you're like me, you can't hold the liquor, you're going to be drunk. 
Jesus, but sleep slowly, Natalie. Janet said she's coming to wait for her. I'm not sure how long it will take her from Boston to get to St. Kitts. With the border being closed, but we'll wait for you, Janet. Don't worry, Janet. I'll be right here waiting for you, okay? Don't you worry. Arms and drinks in hand. <laughs> yes. No, guys, this one is a must. You must try this one when you come to buy. Mm -mm -mm. So don't forget the name. It is the spicy cucumber drink. And Marlon, our mixologist, it's his lovely creation. It looks good. I think I did a picture, right, Kel? It looks good. It feels good. It tastes good. And you're in the Caribbean. And you're in St. Kitts, where we have a very low COVID town. So, guys... Come on, bang. Come on down. Send your clients. We have a lovely resort. We have the St. Kitts Marriott Resort. We have the Royal St. Kitts Hotel. And that's where you'll find your handle when you come down. You also have, come on, Kelly, yes? And I remember the handle from the St. Kitts Marriott. But she comes Royal St. Kitts. Royal St. Kitts. Royal St. Kitts. The Royal St. Kitts. But she confused me being at Vibes Bar in, you know, being the hostess. <laughs> well, like I said, Vibes is always the place to be. So you finish a long day at work. So I put in my hours and then you come over to Vibes. And that's how you end the evening. Okay. So Janet, and you can, the biggest, they also the serve lunch at Vibes. Oh, oh, I forgot to show off my drink. Oh my God. We, need, we need a picture first, Rohanda. Before you drink, remember you need to grace. Take grace for the ground. Look, look, at, look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. Look at, look at close up. Ooh. Oh, yeah, does that look like sunset, people? It's it, a tequila it really, sunrise. It oh, really it's does. It's a tequila sunrise, but it looks like a sunset. <laughs> you know what, too? It's probably going to. You're going to drink it now with the sunset, and it's going to help you. Because it's only going to rise when the sun is rising. You, know? <laughs> you hear the best stories when you're drinking, eh? Like you learn so every time in the Caribbean, you get some rum, you get some friends, and it's stories, jokes, laughter. All right? So I think now. You will be, someone is passing around, and so you get an opportunity to see the food that Vibes has. And one of the things that late night snacks, Natalie, Vibes before, is my place be, to go. Yes, Kelly? You were asked to take a picture with the sun and umbrella behind the drink. Oh, okay. Certainly. Where's Daryl? Daryl? You know, on the island, we have our photographer, Daryl. You brought a, pro a professional photographer? Yes, Kelly. This is how we do things in St. Kitts. Daryl. Okay, the music is so loud on the inside. Daryl's on here. So I'm going to go leave you with your hand up. In fact, the lovely Camille is here passing around. It's like chicken out. Chicken roti. Oh, the vibe roti some... is really, really good. So, Rohanda, I'm turning it over to you. Um, yes, so this is the Vibes this Roti. This is the Vibes guys. Roti. Ooh, have shrimp. And this is, oh, and look at this, guys. Shrimp and fish sticks. And fish sticks. Awesome. Oh, so, there's something for everybody. But you know what my favorite is at Vibes? What's yes. That? The Hungry Man? Well, the wings, yes, but no, not the seafood. Fish, so. The lobster, the lobster. Well, of course, the lobster for me. That looks amazing. Oh my goodness. It, it is. I'm beginning to really dislike Natalie and Rohan and everybody in St. Kitts right now. I agree. I think I'm going to go for a nap. <laughs> <laughs> St. Kitts is the place to be. Seriously, the place to be. So, well, now I'm starting my sample. I told you guys. Some sun, rum, fun, and food now. So I'm starting up now. And so we have chicken roti. I'm actually yes. pescatarian. The shrimp and the fish fingers.
Look at Natalie. Oh, yeah, Doreen. Doreen, you've not seen me yet, girl, with my class t shirt. Okay. I see. I see. You got it going on, girl. My spice cucumber drink, only in St. Mm. I'm telling you, it looks so good. I am so jealous. Oh, and the drinks, you need pictures of the drinks. The read will kill us if we don't have pictures of the drinks. Yes, yes, we need pictures. You need to get the publicity, yep. Correct. Buddy, what's up? Where my where's my drink? <laughs> the weather looks beautiful. Spotty, the place looking good. I need to get my own drink since I cannot have a vibes, you know what? I need to go a get vibes mine. drink. So you know I, need I need to go get mine too. I need to, I need to go help myself. <laughs> Kelly says she's helping herself. Kelly pull out a glass of wine. I don't blame good, Kelly. Kelly, you're going good. I'm, no. feeling, I'm feeling left out of the party. Natalie's sitting down there. According to Happy Sunset, Lucia Estale, her leg. Uh, Spuddy, how can, how, can, how can a girl get a carrot? Uh, how can a girl get a carrot? How can a girl get a carrot? Yeah. Um, yes, Jimmy, you can, you know, as soon as the borders open, really, we'll have your name with the hey. carrot right at the airport. I am so ready. I'm nice and so with some scented chill cloths, and you're good to go. Yeah, I am so ready. You know, from Miami. So, so do we have a date, an opening date for St. Kitts? Um, no, we don't have an opening date. Okay. I think it's probably later on into the year. Okay. I'm thinking maybe November into December. Alrighty. That's my prediction. Well, we will see. But in the okay. meantime, though, um, it's all about still keeping tinkets in the news, keeping tinkets in your in your mind. Absolutely. I know you have clients who still want to travel now, but they have clients who are a little more cautious and don't mind maybe traveling maybe before Thanksgiving or after Thanksgiving. Um, we big a carnival at Christmas time. I know we may not have a carnival. But we may still do lots of things virtually. But it's still a good time to visit St. Kitts. And as I always say, when you visit St. Kitts, uh, you're getting two. So always remember to tell your clients, it's two islands you're getting for the price of one. And certainly, it's two different, different islands. Here we go again, another cocktail is attacking oh, the, the area. Oh, another cocktail. Oh, wow. Strawberry passion oh. fruit, non alcoholic cocktail. Wow. Okay, that's what you said. <laughs> we see the theme still, though, the sunrise. <laughs> it's nice. Yeah. So we actually have more drinks now, so somebody can come and sample this one. It's a non-alcoholic yeah, uh, strawberry passion fruit. Oh, that looks so good. Very nice. This one is yeah, for the kids. The vibes has something for everyone. We also everyone. have a variety of non-alcoholic wine, so if it is you have a and you don't drink any alcohol, we carry a wide range or wide selection of non-alcoholic and while we had that, I want to say uh, we just celebrated our 37th anniversary of independence on the 19th of September. A little bit toned down. Try it was a wonderful uh, for us you as a national to reflect and to, you know, really be a little bit more in touch with where we came from, where we are right now, and where we are aspiring to be tomorrow. So 
puro ser Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis, puro ser the government of St. Kitts and Nevis. It's wonderful, man. It's not all bad. We're having a wonderful time. All right. Great. To us. My microphone is off. That felt like a toast to me. So we're not going to waste the opportunity. Anything for this track time. We want to say a toast to St. Kitts and Nevis. 37 years. 37 years as a sovereign nation, 37 years of doing our own thing and taking care of our own affairs. I want to say a special um. Uh, good afternoon to the government as it is those who are in office, those who were here before, and those who are aspiring to be here tomorrow. It's all about good life and city kids and needs. That's a real politician. Every doing the rounds. <laughs> she said he's a real politician. <laughs> doing the rounds. <laughs> uh, beautiful. Look, look at all that. Look at all that man. Keeping everybody happy. Aaron John. So is Minister Grant going to be joining us today? Have a seat, man. Let me let, let me let her say a few words. A few words. A few words. <laughs> How are you? Could you just get me in, please? Let a few words you say, no, whatever you want to say. I don't know. And this young man who has just joined us at the table, this is a. Uh, a business partner of mine, his name is Errington Fifield, one of the, I would say, standout tour operators here on the island of St. Kitts. And I just want him to say a few words about, well, not necessarily vice, but about the Federation of St. Kitts and Nevis, the impact of COVID-19 and our aspirations to get over this and move forward. Well, let me first say uh, thanks for the introduction, Spotty, as we call him. Yeah, right, you know, Spotty yeah. and I work closely together. Uh, we try to turn vibes here into an action spot of the cruise ships mainly, but we don't have that now. So we are pushing hard in the other areas, um, ready and to welcome our land-based tourists, our students coming back on island. We just had a couple of them come in today um, and trying to keep the vibe as what it is. You know, St. Kitts is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful place. Uh, we love it. Um, and we are ready to share the experience of what St. Kitts is and, um, to the entire world, and we're ready for it. Good job, my buddy. Yeah. Um, see the minister there. The world needs to know more about St. Kitts. Minister Grant is just walking in. I was delighted to be a part of a travel party of 17 um, partners from St. Kitts with the government and private sector. And we traveled to the U.S. We visited uh, New York, New Jersey, Atlanta, Houston, Dallas, Miami, and we shared with them the wonderful happenings of St. Kitts and Nevis. And we are hoping to be able to do that in the not too distant future. We've seen new flights from around North America come to St. Kitts. We opened up a new flight from Dallas. We opened a flight from Minnesota as well as uh, Sun Country. When Sun Country came first, we figured about it, they were never be good. But it turned out to be wonderful. So we want to say thank you, Minnesota. We're looking forward to, to seeing, seeing you again. And, and the sun uh, is nice and shining, as you nice can see. <laughs> we have enough sun uh, to share with you guys. You, you, you bottle it. Yeah. You bottle it and you can take it home. Yep, we will, we will take it. We will take it virtually. Our Minister of Tourism, Mr. Lindsay Glenn, has just arrived. And I'm sure he's going to enjoy the shot. And you see our Minister Grant has just arrived, um, looking all dapper, G GQ, GQ. <laughs> so, um, Minister Grant is going to talk to you very soon, but before we get him started, we're gonna give him a drink, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and you know what the minister just said? He's going to have coconut water. Oh, wow. And one of the things that is essential from a Caribbean perspective, if you mix in drinks and you're having something, you must have coconut water. If you don't have coconut water, then it's a banging. In St. Kitts, we say if it's good, it's bang. Right? It's a banging. <laughs> yes. So, oh, <laughs> and look, we have our CEO of the St. Kitts Tourism who's watching me like, I didn't know Natalie had those skills, you know? 
So, <laughs> so, so I, you know, guys, I think I've now just got my second job. I've auditioned. I didn't even know I was on audition, but I think um, I'm going to be the new face, the new vo at least the new voice for St. Kitts Tourism, right, um, Ms. Brown? <laughs> So guys, we are having, we are certainly having fun in St. Kitts, and um, we came out for you. Um, our minister is here. Our CEO of the St. Kitts Tourism Authority is always here, and um, they'll speak to you shortly. But vibes is certainly the spot, right? My mask is right here. <laughs> You know, my, my CEO thinks she could have caught me. No, I have one mask and I have, a, I have a bag of mask in my car because guys, if you don't have a mask, there's a fine of $500. Oh my oh. goodness, wow. So you, you've got to have your mask. That, that is, you guys are serious. Yes. So with no further ado, Rohanda is getting our minister uh, set up and um, Minister Grant has done a tremendous job so far. I tell him that all the time in, to, in tourism. And I'm really happy to have him back at the helm of our tourism again. And so he's going to be right along with you. So I'm handing it over to you, Rohanda. Second one? I can't say anything. Hi, hi. <laughs> hi. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, I'm excellent, I'm excellent. I'm just here. Good, you're making I'm us here feel vibes jealous. I'm vibes. Say that again? You can move, you can stay. Oh, I said I'm here vibes in at vibes. I think yeah. we're all wishing we were at vibes right now. Yeah, you're making all of us jealous. All of us want to be right there yeah, right everybody now. Everybody wants to be where you guys are. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, well, come on down when we're ready. <laughs> first fight. We, 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 first fight we, need to, we need to start a petition. Open the border so we could come. <laughs> Definitely. I want, you, I want you to start a petition so I could sign my name on one, two, and three. <laughs> uh, well, you know, we are, we are preparing ourselves for the opening, which hopefully will come shortly. And um, I think we're pretty much excited because we've been here with downtime for about six or seven months. So I think people are eagerly awaiting the, the, the opening. And uh, of course, our you know safety is our number one priority still with all our health protocols in place. And um, you know we are, we are exercising caution. So which we will we'll simply do when we open up also. And um, so we are ready to welcome back our guests. I know Spuddy and the crew and all of those who are in the industry uh, you know, really looking forward to it, having had so much downtime. So we're, we're really excited that we could introduce people again to all our really fantastic sites. You know, we call ourselves the quintessential Caribbean. I don't think there's anywhere in the Caribbean where you could go more than five minutes and you don't see some historical um, aspect of the country. And so we really, we really want to showcase that to the world again. So we're looking forward to it. Minister, what would you say is your overall strategy um, in broad strokes for reopening? I know you have several phases, um, but can you just share with our travel advisors what the strategy is in terms of phases? In terms of, I didn't get that. Your, the phases of reopening. Phase. What is the okay. strategy? Okay, great, great, great. Thanks. Well, you know, first of all, when we locked down, um, I think around about March 25th or so, was a real serious lockdown, they can tell you, is that, um, you know, we went down to a full lockdown. We were at home for like, um, I think like a, a week plus, maybe two weeks, where we were making sure that when we got the first, well, when we had our first case, that everybody understood what was necessary to ensure that we combat this um, dreaded um, virus. So what we did, basically, we, we, we ensured that we put some systems in place. We have a state of emergency. It's still in place, but very much relaxed. Um, 
you have to wear your mask, you have to sanitize, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, these simple things that we feel that would be um, non-invasive, but at the same time protect yourselves and you know the community at large. So we did that. Hold on, hold on second, Mr. Minister. Your your camera is upside down. The camera is upside I don't know down. Why. <laughs> <laughs> You're upside down. Oh boy, boy. Okay, oh, that's great. I'm not sure. Is, they're doing yeah, many injustice, but it's okay. Okay, is that right, okay now? I just want you to know you're upside down, but go ahead. Okay, great, great, great. So I say I think the community is sensitized enough now to know that well, they have to, to wear the mask, they must sanitize, to do your social distancing. And um, of course there comes fines with, with that. So that was the first phase. Um, really what is happening now is that we are, we are gearing up to open up the borders. Uh, the question is, what does that mean? Well, just for example, just last week, uh, we had meetings with the whole um, CARICOM, which is the, the, the larger Caribbean. And that is going to be our first phase so that we open up to interregional travel for those who are low risk. Um, in that bubble, I understand that there'll be no testing. You can just move freely within the bubble. That's the first phase. The second phase is where you open up to the, our international um, clientele. And that is the more tricky one. So right now we are retrofitting the entire airport to make it uh, COVID friendly and make sure that we have all the necessary protocols in place at the first point of entry at the airport. So when you, you get to the airport at the RLB International, then the protocols start. So that's all our second phase. Obviously, the, 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 the more open phase is where everybody mingles. And um, that now has not been pinpointed as to how that will work. But I think it's really a work in progress at the moment to make sure that everyone stays safe. Okay. And what would you say is the biggest um, takeaway or lesson that uh, the government, the tourism department has learned from all of this? Well, I think probably don't have all your eggs in one basket. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Yep. Um, yeah, it's really taken a toll on us because, you know, from the last statistics from the World Travel and Tourism Council, uh, tourism produces about 62% of our GDP, which is ex extraordinary for a small country like ours. Right now, we have about 6,000 persons on the bread line, which is, which wow. is tough economic times. It just so happened that our government had the foresight to save for the rainy day. So we were able, in the first instance, to give a stimulus package of $120 million dollars. And then we injected some more funds um, into that. So we were really um, prepared, so to speak, in a manner of speaking, for, for the onslaught of this virus. So, but I think, going, I think going forward, this is now the new norm. I think people now have to look at travel and tourism in a, in a really different, from a really different perspective. Um, part, of the, part of this, I think, that has helped us is that we were able to do some introspection and reflection and recognize that we have an abundance of sites and abundance of facilities that we probably weren't utilizing as best as we, we could. And so now having had the benefit of time, we were able to like analyze them a bit more and be able to showcase them probably in a different, in a different light um, to the tourists who, who will now come. And I think even for the visitors today, I think they're going to have a different perspective on, 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 on life and understand that the more quaint and the, 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 of, of the countries and, and, and the, the friendliness of the people and that sort of aura will lend itself to a, to a, a better destination rather than the, you know, the fast pace, for example, and, the, you, you know, that kind of life. So I think people recognize now we're on a slow, we're in a slow mode, and um, that helps for us because we're really a, a really quiet, um, quiet destination. Lots of things to do, but very quiet and laid back at the same time. Good. So, where is your CEO? Because we have some questions for her as well. Where, where is, is my CEO? I'm looking to my right. I think 
I think she's having some libations, that's all she is. So she's just finished working. And so, so she's going to come she now and, and say hello. With you. Yeah, they, they asked for you. Um, I don't know if she had too much to drink already. It's rum and coconut. <laughs> <laughs> so what? It's your after work. It's after work. <laughs> it's after five. <laughs> yeah. She's coming. She's coming. Hold on a second. Okay, great. Because we, we, okay. we have some marketing okay, questions. Okay. Gonna say okay. No, she said, oh, you're going to do we over there? Some okay. She's, questions she's, for she's going she's to switch question. on the other end. So, a pleasure. What is the, what is okay. Thank you so much, Minister, for taking the time out of your busy schedule to update our travel advisors. It makes such a difference when they hear the, we can tell them anything, but when they hear it directly from the, um, from the tourism minister, it goes a long way. So thank you so much for gracing us with your presence and updating us on your strategy. And we wish you all the very best. Look forward to coming back to St. Kitts once you reopen and We'll be, we'll be here rooting for St. Kitts and um, hopefully we will be, we'll, you know, we'll be able to see you very soon. So I'm actually here with Raquel, who's the CEO of Hi. the St. Kitts Tourism. Hi, Kelly. That sounds so quirky. So I don't need to hear my... No, you did not. <laughs> you just sounded like you had a couple of drinks already. Oh, I'm having water. You believe anything that minister says in a water bottle? <laughs> you really believe him, Kelly? <laughs> so who am I speaking to? Um, to Kelly and tra agents oh, traveling. So, hi, everyone. I, my name is Raquel Brown. I, um, I think I have the distinct honor of being the CEO for the Sinkage Tourism Authority. Uh, I'm sorry we're not open quite yet, but we can't wait for you to come because I really tr truly believe that St. Kitts is the, the quintessential Caribbean. Yes, every Caribbean island has beaches and every Caribbean island has beautiful sunshine, but we're really just a traditional Caribbean and that's what I mean by quintessential. We're not hugely populated. It's very laid back. It's where every other destination, I like to say, has, was before. But we are there probably, what we'd like to say, 16 years later, because we really started our tourism industry in 2004. So I am not sure how many persons have sold St. Kitts. Um, hi, Doreen. Hi there. How are you? I was asking for you. Oh, I can and I'm like, but What's that? You disappeared. You came and then you disappeared. So I wasn't I sure it was you. <laughs> How are you? I I am good. I am no, good. Not, but great. I'm losing my mind. But other than that, I'm fine. I can imagine. Aren't we all? Yeah, we yeah. are. It's a rough month. Yeah, but no. Um, it's been it's been a rough couple of months for all of us, and it's um. Rough. I can't wait to get back to St. Kitts. I mean, it's, it's, I can't wait to travel. It's just crazy. But you know what? It has changed since you and Tony were here since then. Oh, it's been a while. We are so I'm not going to ask who, I'm not going to ask who is Tony, but I must say that this was the first place I went to where I saw butterflies. So that says a lot about the island. Yeah, it's, it's really, really beautiful. But no, I mean, and the park Hyatt's open now, the read. Yeah, that's right. When we were there, yeah. we just opened in. No, I definitely yeah. have to come yeah. back. I'd love I think to. it came, what, 2016? So much has changed. Yeah, so yeah. time has grown. Time has grown. Still very but, clean. But Raquel, a question I had for you, which we ask all of our um, marketing folks when we get a chance. How are you, of course, the world has changed. Um, not putting you on the spot, but how are you going to promote um, St. Kitts differently? Because we're facing a whole new world. Yeah, I think what we've really tuned into is that St. Kitts already has those qualities that speak to the COVID environment. We're very, mm -hmm. um, we don't have large hotels. It's not mass tourism. Right. When you go on the beach, you don't have to worry to find a location because there are several 
spaces for you to crop your spot or put down your beach chair. If you're right. going on a tour, you don't have to worry about if I have to catch the 11 o'clock or the 2 o'clock because other times of the day, they're very crowded. I think the experience for St. Kitts already mm -hmm. speaks to um, how we are as a destination that's not right. crowded and allows you to really do outdoor things and appreciate kind of life what it should be. Um, mm -hmm. Zoning in on it a lot more. We're trying to ensure that our copy and our images really speak to that experience. Uh, but I think for us, it's probably less of a challenge mm -hmm. than it would be for many other destinations because I mean, the largest property we have here is the Marriott. Let right. us be real. And they still have a wide beach. So, right. you know, for us as a destination, it's, it's really, really, um, what I think we have an opportunity for is to really increase our marketing share. Persons will start looking at us because they probably don't want to go somewhere else. And then we can also learn to be on people's bucket list. We're trying yes. to find the unique experiences, like to make a big deal out of climbing a crater, going into a mm -hmm. crater. Mm -hmm. Crater are experiences. So, you know, we're looking into what we have and we've kind of, We've shown it before, but we've not harnessed it as much as we should have. So I really think for us, it's not so much of trying to make the marketing words speak for us, but to really build on what we have. Right, and, and, and change your message and just recapitulate yeah. what you have. I yeah. mean, you guys are yeah. so green and lush and, you yes. know, and, and, you know, the big buzzword now is wellness and you guys are so yep. poised for that. Correct. So, um, our, new, yeah. our, our new campaign is Awake Your Sense of Wonder. And oh, it really wonder. just speaks to St. Kitts, you know, in every single way, in anything you want to do. If you want Fantastic. to get married, if you just want to get away, if you want to have a girl's trip, you want to have a guy's trip, you know, you want to go play golf, play at the casino, you know, you name it. Um, we are truly, you know, I think we're small enough for great experiences, mm -hmm. but not too, we're not huge for persons to start saying, oh, I don't want to go there. It's not in my consideration set. Right. So I think, you know, it's going to be hard for all of us. Oh, um, yeah. The risk factor is what really, um, you know, persons who like to take risks mm -hmm. are the persons that we have to really get into that consideration set. Um, I learned something yesterday. I didn't even know there was a new group of people, demographic called the Generation N where these are the persons in COVID who like to travel. I did, I'm doing the Skits Forum. I was on it yesterday and today. Mm -hmm. And so they have the ability to travel. They have money, but they're mm -hmm. also willing to take risk. And how oh, do wow. you bring them into your consideration set? So here we go with wow. another Zen in. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? But you know what? Uh, what I find interesting, the worst, this thing is still unfolding. You see that in the past couple of days, a lot of countries have seen, or a lot of states have witnessed the, the, a seven-day high um, yeah. in COVID cases that we haven't seen in, in weeks. So, you know, what, what, we can have a conversation here today, and a month from now, the whole situation changes. So things are still unfolding. But i um, really excited. To, good to see you, Raquel. And, um, no, good to see you, Denise. Yeah, and look forward to, um, you know, working with you guys once you reopen. I keep telling yes. everyone we do not unlearn technology. So we've gotten so used to using it, even when things return to full capacity and to some sense of normalcy. We're not going to move away from technology because we've, we've been forced to use no. it. You know, we, we used, five years ago, we were talking about the future of technology. Well, you know what? The future is now. The future it's is now. Here. It's here. Yep. Yep. So, so we look forward to working with you. Task has a lot of exciting programs. Um, we have a very um, yeah. energized following. And uh, happy to be in St. Kitts. Happy to see you guys. And uh, we look forward to definitely partnering with you once things yep. return to full capacity. Yes, when, we, when the board opens at some point. Yes, I am coming to St. Kitts for sure. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing you again, Doreen. Yes, yes. question for you, for Raquel, before you go. You, um, somebody was asking about the hotels. What's the, the ratio of all-inclusive to boutique hotels on the island? Oh, we don't have any all-inclusives. Um, some properties have all-inclusive packages, but we don't have any all-inclusive. The, the biggest hotel that we have here is the Marriott, but there are no all-inclusives here in St. Kitts. I hope I answered the question. 
I think so. And then also about your national dish. Oh, it's sawfish, Creole sawfish with Johnny Cakes plantains. Nice. So it's That's like right. sawfish, like the Caribbean sawfish way, but they're adding plantain and Johnny Cakes. Oh, wow. And not everybody can make Johnny Cakes. I can't say that. <laughs> and somebody <laughs> but else somebody can can't see the dog. Is Ziggy's still there? I'm not sure what Ziggy's is. It's a bar. It's what? Ziggy's. Ziggy's bar? I know that name. No, Ziggy's Ziggy bar is not here, no. Okay. No, where? What used to be Ziggy's bar? Wasn't that? Right here. Right here. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, we're yeah, sitting, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, we're sitting at Ziggy's, but it's now Vibes. Okay, okay. I, know, I remember the name Ziggy's. That was a while ago. The person is way, way before way everybody. Back. I remember the name Ziggy's. That's way back. That is yeah. way back. Yeah. Wow. So any, any exciting, I mean, I'm sure it's hard to project, but anything exciting in 2021 you can share with us? I know it's early. I know, I know you're probably just trying to keep your head above water, but... Um, no, I, I, it's just, you know, I think for us it's ensuring that we're a safe and a, a valuable destination to people that yes. they can trust. I think that's the one thing that's important to us. Um, there isn't going to be a new development. Uh, right. You know, persons will look at their tours and how they'll ensure that experiences are safe and they're giving value to the, to the, to the guests. But I think really for us, the most important thing is that guests that come here value that they actually came for their vacation. They mm -hmm. were safe and they were able to go back and say, you know, I can have a safe vacation. And I think that's the most important. It should be for any destination. Right. And in terms of things to do, I remember diving, golfing. Yes. What else do you have? Right now, it's kind of on hold, um, and I think they will look into it again for the new year, but it's a bit on, a bit of, you know, we don't have a marine park yet established, so okay. they're looking into that. Um, but at this point in time, we still have, how would I say this? We are at a, at a training level, but we haven't expanded for, like, experiential travelers, drivers, no. Okay. Fantastic. Well, Raquel, thank you so much for coming on. We can Thank tell you them any, me. Yeah, we can tell them anything about St. Kitts, but when you guys come and give them the, the, the um the updates firsthand, it goes such a long way. Because I, I can't tell you how many questions we get uh, about St. Kitts, especially since you you know, since you haven't reopened. So no, we, we will continue to send you <laughs> questions. No, people I'm, are asking and you know it's good to have you guys know, on explain. The date isn't known yet. So we're still waiting. We're still yeah. waiting. And, and I personally think if you, the, the longer you can, like I say, things are still unfolding. I mean, it's, it's crazy. The second wave might be yeah. here. We just don't Broke. know. Yeah. So um, you have to do what's best for, your, for the country and, you know, ride the waves. Yeah. Riding them. Thank you to the travel agents that are taking part. Really, really thank you, everyone. And I know you read, so I have to say thanks for <laughs> Oh, you're Bye. very welcome. Thank you. You're very welcome. We'll be we in touch very nice soon. Can you see that sunset? Can oh, you see that's that beautiful? beautiful. Look at that. Oh, my God. That, that is yeah, beautiful. It's nice, that it's is nice beautiful. weather. Very Take nice. Care. I am so jealous. Take care, Raquel. We'll talk All soon. Right. Bye. Okay, bye. Okay, guys. So I'm going to a to Rohanda, but before we go into the kitchen, to get all that good lobster, I just want to show oh, you that lobster. perfect sunset. Oh, oh that's my. Gorgeous. I mean, the camera is not even doing it justice. Oh my God, it is so... Lovely sunset for oh getting God, married as well. So that's beautiful. That is beautiful. Yeah, it looks absolutely awesome. What is your seating capacity at, um, at, at Vibes? What's the seating capacity at Vibes? You want to know? The seating capacity just, at Vibes? So, well, the total seating capacity is 120. So you oh, can Okay. And you could book way. vibes. Yeah, it is. You could book it out for your event. Um, mm -hmm. Just let Spuddy know and you could certainly book it out for your event. That's amazing. Okay. Don't worry about money, All right, so we're in the kitchen. We have been welcomed to St. Kitts by our Minister of Tourism, our CEO of the St. Kitts Tourism Authority. We 
we found out why we need to come to Sengis, but no vacation is complete without food. And that's where we are right now. We have the vibes, we have sun, and then now we're going to follow up with belly, as we like to say here. And I have a Chef Austin on deck. He is ready to present us. He's going to show us how to make a lobster thermidor. Oh, a grilled lobster, yes. This is the grilled lobster. I can hear it behind here sizzling, guys. Like, uh, oh my goodness. So tell us how exactly do you make, what did you, we, we are seeing the finished product now, but tell us a little bit about how you get there. This is some garlic butter. A little bit of broken and up. Uh -huh. We also have some fresh lemon juice, fresh squeeze, some chopped garlic, onions, peppers, uh -huh. and some other secret from the island. You have to all right, come. then. It's, so everything I'm seeing here comes fresh. Like all of the seasoning comes fresh from St. Kitts. Okay, I'm seeing more rum, like more rum, rum, fun, sun, more rum again. So what are we doing I'm with going, this? I'm going to show around. Okay. What kind of rum are we using? Well, it turns out it's not rum. It's a wine. It's a Chardonnay. So I, I wonder okay. if it's the secret ingredient. Oh, wow. That sounds amazing. So we have the yeah. lemon juice, we have the garlic butter, all the spices. I'm going to need to mute one of Oh, that was the secret ingredient that just went in. So I guess we're going to have to pay for that one. <laughs> Wow. wow. So it's really hot, okay. All right. Oh, that looks amazing. Ooh, look at that. Wow. All right, I feel so special. Like I said, I come to bed almost every Friday, and now I'm winning exactly oh, yeah. what the magic is. That is the real, that's where the action is. Rohanda, can you mute one of your phones? So there will not be a um, an echo. I'm sorry. Can you mute one of the phones, either yours or Troy's phone? Just mute it. But okay. Mute it. That looks so good. Wow, okay. Wow. All so, fresh herbs. So all the fresh herbs from the island. So everything that we can all make. Fresh onions. Finishing Parmesan cheese. All the good stuff. What I want to know is who's making notes and who's going to take on this challenge and make it for us. Who's going to what? Who's going to take on the challenge and make make this lobster thermidor at home for us? Who's going to try? <laughs> is there a prize? If there's a prize, I'll try. <laughs> if, there's a, if there's a prize trip to St. Kitts, I'm in. Look at that spread. Oh, my goodness. So, Chef, how long have you been with, um, with Vibes? Over, over a year. Okay. I'm Where did you work? Two Where years. You almost two years, almost two years. Okay. Did you work at other properties oh, on the island? Did you spend a lot of time in the hospitality industry? Yes, a lot of years. Okay. Fabulous. The experience shows. Oh my goodness, this look at good, that. This is the good lobster, that's the tomato. So a little bit of vegeta vegetables, local peas and rice. Yes. Fish. 
Is this rice and lentil? Yes, it is. I swear it's not a meal in thing if you don't have rice and peas on it. Some people are some people are asking if you can FedEx this to the to. We'll try. We have extras. So this will the extras. The chef has been treating us lovely. So he made us a spread. What the fuck is that? Oh my goodness. You got the shrimp kebabs. Oh yes. What's the chef's name again? His name is Austin. Chef Austin. Everybody call him the island chef. Chef. Wow. All right. That is beautiful. Thank you so Great much, job. This is beautiful. I'm excited to try everything. I'm sure everybody at home is their mouths are watering and they're ready to come down and try this. Oh yes, that is amazing. I mean, he secretly told me in the back here that I, I can't work in a kitchen. I am down soaking wet. The kitchen is hot. But so he's not breaking a sweat. Chef Austin, thank you so much. It, probably has on his he probably has on his marina man underneath possibly probably <laughs> because there's a little something extra here i have to run out of the kitchen now that looks beautiful that is amazing <laughs> how many servings is that chef and walk back over i'm gonna join the crew now before anybody touches the food, please take photos for us. Yes, I'm sorry. Yes. Buddy, we need some pictures. Oh my goodness. Oh, no, we're gonna get Daryl. Is Daryl still here? We should get Daryl to take some photos for us. Yeah. <laughs> So now the lime has begun. We have rum, we have food, we have the sunset, and we're just gonna turn the music up and let the party go. But wait a minute, this was supposed to be our party. Why are you all having more fun than we are? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> What's the deal? What's the deal? <laughs> Natalie has forgotten about us. Where is our hostess? Miss Natalie John? <laughs> So I don't think it's a good one. That one is still very extremely active at the place. Yeah, the life and sink is good. I'm on another drink this morning. Um, all kinds of themed drinks. So it's um, either a mango or a pack of tea or he's a mango. I'm not sure what it is. It just tastes good. Mine is done. <laughs> Minister is halfway. Please send oh my us as many, as many photos as possible. <laughs> because <laughs> we are still trying to work here and get images to promote the yeah, like, oh. uh, Natalie. Where's Natalie? You want Natalie? Yeah, where's Natalie? There. Natalie, oh, make sure. Her. Natalie? Okay, um, I'm going to have a She can't focus. <laughs> Make sure that Raquel and the minister join the group. Okay, yeah, we'll get them to join the group. Yeah, so they can join in the actual. Can we get a photo of the sunset? Somebody wants a photo of the sunset and the water. Okay. <laughs> And that, Natalie, get a nice group photo as well. The minister so, sorry, sorry, Jerry, but I went on. So, what do you want from me? No, I said, make sure you get a group picture with Spuddy, the minister, and Raquel. Oh, yes. I will. Yeah. We can go to the Is Michael still on? So Natalie, have you have you done any weddings lately? Have you done any weddings at this event? At this venue? Um, no, no, well, not at this venue in particular, but this beach. It's a favorite. Um, if you walk all the way to the end of the beach, there's a nice area that um we do lots of weddings because to the background you get to see Nevis. Oh wonderful. So whenever we do 
but then don't forget the beach. It's along this beach, right towards the end. Um, we, we did a wedding last month. Um, that was our first wedding since COVID. But we are also with a nurse shop. Our you're breaking up, Natalie. You're breaking up. We can't hear you so well. Actually, actually, your your stuff is on. Your volume is on. Oh, sorry. Yeah. That's why we can hear you. That's what too many cocktails do for you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Okay, guys, I'm not doing any task events anymore because um, it looks like once alcohol is there, they do it through the event. Um, we, we, I got drunk. We have to figure that out. We have to figure that out. Our yeah, attendees might be better if you come out here. Your mind anymore because you're having so much fun. And in yeah, travel, right here. you have to know how to consume it no, and please. sell it. Well, I think I'm doing a good job at both. I think so. Because, you know, in the, in the Caribbean, it's a happy life. We say no problem. Oh, and the food is coming out. We're going to take some pictures. Oh, this is amazing, guys. Look at this. Uh, oh, this is... You're going to need some plates. This is what, is what, what is the what is the what is the national? Oh, oh, look at the shrimp dish! Oh my goodness, that is amazing! <laughs> that's beautiful! Oh my god, that's beautiful! That is beautiful! Oh my goodness! Very proud! Very nice! Oh, that's a beautiful picture! That's lovely. Please take a picture. Yeah. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. We're going to need some plates. So, guys, there you have it. Uh, we have have do it yourself. Um, I'm not today. We still stopping. have an hour to go. <laughs> uh, oh, we still have an hour to go. Yes, yeah. no. Okay. We're not running. We're going to eat. <laughs> yeah, we're going to eat. So, um... So give us some music and take lots of images for us, okay? Everybody watch me, don't move. Just yeah, we will, bit. but uh, just look at this. That's beautiful. I'm bringing back sexy. The sun is setting. Look at this. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> Whoa. Natalie tells Spuddy he outdid himself. What's it for? Sorry, to Rohanda, Rohanda, I'm sending it back over to you so Chef could probably talk a little more about the dishes. Yes, we'd love to talk to the chef. Yeah, so we would love to talk to the chef right now. So, Rohanda, Rohanda, I'm putting it over to you now. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, edit all. All right, so now we're just spending more time with Chef Austin. He's beaming, Chef Sati, as he is affectionately called. He's beaming here with pride and Natalie getting in. And we're getting those shots for you guys. And we're gonna just sit with him a bit and talk more about his food while we dine. So tonight we're dining at the chef's table. You know, impromptu chef's table. We have the chef, we have all the servers, we have the ministers. Let me try to. That is so beautiful. All right, Chef. Let's sit. Let's have let's have a chat. Yes, I, I want to talk to the chef about Christmas. <laughs> so you know, the holidays are approaching. We have uh, Doreen, she's ready, she's excited, and she's ready to come down and to meet you. Like. I am ready. I am so ready. Chef, <laughs> get the lobster ready. I am so ready. Let me get off. All right. So we're up close and personal with now with Chef Stati. All right. So Chef, we are, we are so impressed with your culinary skills and your creations and I, what I like is that you are doing it in such an effortless way. 
a guy who can cook and is and is confident oh my goodness he's good for business so chef, i have a couple of questions for you because task is getting ready to do we're looking towards the holidays and we have lots of travel advisors on you know who have joined us and they're looking for um itineraries putting together itineraries for their clients and of course they're looking towards the holidays and looking for um some of the special experiences tell us what christmas is like in st kitts in st kitts from a culinary standpoint what do you do different well, at christmas well mostly in the christmas time a lot of the local people get together and they set up their side sidebars or side shop as you might call it where they do barbecue chicken goat water blood pudding which is black pudding yes sauce, and those stuff and give you a barbecue pigtail and all so and then yes you have the juve which is crazy <laughs> but we're gonna see how that work out this year because of COVID 19. but we we have vibes we, we we offer some we offer something different. We we, we always have fresh food. We have a, we can, we have a fresh catch. We have so much food to offer, but this is just a tip of the iceberg. So, so cannibal cannibal is crazy in Saint Kitts. Yeah, that's wonderful. I have some I have some wonderful memories from way back when. Cannibal oh. in Saint Kitts, way, maybe before you were even born. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't believe. I don't believe. You. Oh, let me not even get. Let me not even get into it. Um, so so all we have right now are the memories because we're not sure if we're gonna get to have a carnival this year. So you might wanna, you know, tell everybody about how that is because that's all we have. So the yep, carnival is usually food and fet food fet festivals, and now all we might have is the food. So. That's, I mean, that's oh, where you come in. But we saw, we also saw a wide variety of um, local dishes here at Vibes. Like we have the, the oxtail, we have lamb, we have mutton, snapper, shrimp. We do grilled chicken, baked chicken, so with local vegetables. We buy our vegetable fresh from the farmers. Mm -hmm. What we can get, we go to the supermarket, but most of our stuff are fresh. Yeah. That's the Chef, secret in the lobster. One question from the group. They're asking if you're willing to do classes for small groups, cooking classes for small groups. Yes, we, we do. We're trying, okay. Is this yes. better? Yes, we do yes, small that's groups. Better. Okay. That's better. Okay. We do birthdays, anniversaries. So, no private cooking for small groups of visitors? Like, how small? Like, 10? What would be your maximum? Ten? No, we we, we, we do up to um sometimes a hundred. Well, see, cooking, that's what we're talking about cooking classes. No, no, we're talking about cooking, cooking classes. Oh, cooking no, she wants. She oh, thought she you were talking about oh. thinking, but we're talking about cooking, cooking classes. classes. So they're so impressed. They want you to teach others your skills. Want to join you with. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> and that's something I always have a privilege My doing, experience. showing people what I what I've learned over the years. Okay. Tell, tell Spuddy, tell Spuddy school calling. He wanted, he wanted to get in on the low. He wanted to get in on the low. I just want to be the one that we are part of. of yes, but we, we are offered to, to we, we, we willing to show, teach and teach anybody at any time. They want to learn, but we just don't give up secret recipes. No, no secrets, <laughs> no secrets. And I'm here to make sure that we don't give up any secrets. <laughs> Yeah, we don't give out secrets. Come to Vibes, we'll set something up for you. Um, we, um, we have, we're working on something called a do-it-yourself barbecue, which is we're actually able to come to Vibes as a customer. We have the grill set up, small personal grill, sort of his and her type of setting, and you can oh, nice. learn. We'll be here, and they'll be happy to teach you. Oh, that's, that sounds so romantic. Couples that well, cook together. COVID. That's what COVID-19 has done. It has taught us to do all sorts of different stuff. Spuddy, couples that cook together stay together. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> I totally agree. <laughs> we're, we're not like this, but we good. We good. <laughs> 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 so oh my goodness. So um uh 
Spuddy, we typically um, offer, is there any special offer that you give to travel advisors? I know we, we may have spoken about it in the past. Well, to be honest with you, we're always open and welcome, open, welcome, and willing to um, to accommodate any travel advisors. I mean, they come here, huge discounts for them. We've done it with the ships. I can't see why we're gonna, we won't do it with folks that are gonna bring us stayover visitors that are gonna give us two, three nights of dinners, lunches, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So um, that's fantastic. I mean, we, no, we, we love, we, we love to hear that. We are yep. happy. We are delighted to to do that, to really, really, you know, make it work. We are not just here. Obviously, I mean, we want to make some money, but at the same time, it's about positive experiences for St. Kitts and Nevis and for our businesses, our business vibes each bar as well. And you know it's I mean? also to build relationships because that's how you build relationships. For definitely, sure. definitely, definitely. And anybody okay. watching this, this video, we would love you to go on to our Facebook page, uh, leave a comment, uh, ask a question, we would reply as quickly as possible and um, would be delighted to, you know, we can't give up the secrets, but we can coach. <laughs> to be honest. I'm um, with you, it's funny. Please, please, Natalie, John, please put your camera off right now because I'm hating right now. Kelly and no, Dewey, Kelly, that, that's for you, Kelly. That's Kelly, for you. Really? Look at that. I mean, the you guys, is, mm, 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 Natalie, mm. oh my gosh. The oh, read you've not been here since Christopher Columbus. <laughs> No, no, um, I, was, Kelly, I was there. I was there in 2016. 2016. Tony, I, I, I don't, I don't know about that. I have to see your passport. Ask Raquel. Raquel was just Kelly. Talking about I think it. the last time you were here, they had the FTCA here in 2005. That's a long time ago. Kelly. So you okay, need to guys, come back. Please. Um, guys, y'all see this? <laughs> To read, that's for you, honey, Kelly. Oh, Lord. You know, in honor of our one-year anniversary of TAS, you know, the femme entrepreneurs, <laughs> ladies, we did well. So, um, still we not together. Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna do it just for us. I'm taking one for the team. <laughs> you go, girl. But you know what, Nat um, Natalie, that... Ladies, we're over and out. That lobster looks like a piece of chicken. It's so big. <laughs> it looks like a piece of chicken. It's... You know, usually when you have lobster, you have to take it in small bites. My, how many did you have? One? Michael, I thought she was my friend too, but apparently she's not. <laughs> oh my goodness. It looks like she's stuck. It looks like she's stuck. It looked like everybody in St. Kitts. Okay, we get some. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry, 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 guys. Yeah. I was typing because I saw people were saying they thought I was their friend. So I just wanted to type and said, yes, I still love everybody. Yeah. And so that's why, again, let's look again, look again. Mm -hmm. Let me turn my head. Yeah. Oh my God. Natalie, that looks, that, looks like, that looks like a chicken breast. That's so big. Oh, you want the chicken? Oh. Oh, no, no. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What is that? Really, really good. Can we, can we go to music now? Because Natalie is cutting to really Okay, so Rohanda. Uh, Rohanda, we have to go to DJ Benji. And guys, let me tell you. When you come to Vibes, this is, DJ Benji is the bomb. What we say in the mm. Caribbean? He used to be there, but now you have DJ Uban from Evolution Sound. They, they rock, okay? They rock. So, Rohanda is going over there now, so you could get a little bit of our music. Okay, so well, I'm here now with I'm DJ Yuval. You connected, Yuval? So he's going to connect and get set up, and he's going to take us home with some music. All I mean, right, let's do this. Let's do this. Yeah, that's what Vibes is known for. There's no party without the music. Yep. And DJ Yuval is one of the most popular DJs here. He's here several days per week, actually. So he's going to show off his skills. Say hi. Hey, what's up, what's up, what's up? 
What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> How are everybody doing? We're good. All those Let's drinks we need any. Oh, so we bring only have. Bring the music, man. Bring the music. Bring the music. Bring the music. Bring the music. Let's do this. All right. So we finished talking. It was a pleasure having you guys here, and then we're gonna get you out with some music. Thank you so much. We really enjoyed it. Thank you. That was that See was. See you really guys cool. soon. Yeah, that was good. Bye. See you guys. We're waiting for you in Saint Kitts. Oh, we'll be there. Are we on quiet? So we're not I'm wondering. Yeah. Probably getting set up. Well, we have another half hour. Yeah. I think they're all muted. I wonder if they know they're all muted. So we Probably not. Connected to the internet. Yeah, connect to the internet. Really? Are you you're coming out here and never could you connect to the internet? Say look, sir. You say look, sir. We can't hear the music, you know.
Thanks to all our advisors who join us. Thanks to staying on board. Next week, we are going to Grenada for the finale. So I hope you can join us in Grenada next week, Wednesday at 5. Thank you, everybody. Yep, it was a really great session. I really, you could feel the vibes in St. Kitts. They really brought the, um, they really brought a, a good show to us. We got to see a chef um, make two types, make lobster two ways. We had a mixologist who served up some great drinks. We were graced by the presence of the minister, the Honorable Lindsey Grant, and also we had the um, CEO of the St. Kitts Tourism Authority, um, Miss Raquel, oh my goodness, what is Raquel's last name? Um, Brown. Raquel Brown, Raquel Brown, I just couldn't think for a minute, yep. Yeah? So um, that was a really good session. We got all of the updates from the tourism officials. We got a great meal. We had great drinks. We had a great sunset. We want to say thank you to Troy, Spuddy, Hendrickson, and his wonderful staff for being our hosts. We want to say thank you to our own, very own Natalie John of TAS, one of our advisors who uh, spearheaded the event and uh, was the host in chief with our other um, hosts and hostesses. And so I really enjoyed uh, my virtual visit to St. Kitts and I hope that everyone else did as well. So until we see you next Wednesday, when we go to Grenada for the grand finale, we're going to two bars, not one. We're going to two. We're going to first going to start out at Esther's Bar. And then we go down to 61 West. They're um, next to each other. We're going to have drinks at Esther's. And then we're going to have um, dinner at 61 West on Grand Anne's Beach in Grenada. So this is the fifth Wednesday in September, the grand finale, our celebration month at TASC. And we invite everyone, tell your clients, tell your colleagues, we're going to Grand Ants Beach in Grenada. So until then, we will see you next time. We're signing out. Thanks for joining us.